in the metro. Today, police also released the on-body camera video of the shooting. The entire incident is only a couple seconds long. Action 7 News reporter Regina Reese shows us the tape and how Officer Golson remained calm after being shot. As Officer Lou Golson approached this SUV, police say he thought he was dealing with a drunk driver. As you can see on his body camera, it turns out to be much more. <laughs> on the ground, shot by three bullets, Officer Golson fires back. Christopher Cook shuts the driver's side door and is in the car as bullets hit the driver and backseat doors. When Cook finally opens the door to flee, Officer Golson manages to turn, point his gun right at Cook, but he was unable to fire. Severely injured, Officer Golson makes a call no officer wants to ever have to make or hear. San Mateo Lane, San Mateo, just been 27 aided. 27 aided means he's been shot calmly and with a presence of mind. Officer Golson describes the shooter. WMA blue jacket running northbound San Mateo with a blue hat, blue jeans. At this point, Officer Golson cannot stand back up. Police arrive to help the officer. He's gone. <sighs> Officer Golson was hit by three bullets. His family has requested his specific injuries not be released, but he has had surgery and his recovery is expected to take months. Back to you. Albuquerque police still don't know if this was a random shooting or if Cook was targeting police. But regardless, Golson's family says they're grateful the alleged gunman is now behind bars. So you can imagine what it's like for the family not to have this person in custody. Uh, the family is very grateful, not only to the police departments, the federal agencies, our federal partners, the sheriff's department, but they're also very grateful to our community. Golson and his family were informed of the arrest early this morning. Albuquerque police said.